Hey, this is the second version of my uh, dice roller. Um, I'll go over all of the features in case you haven't seen them, but the the uh, short version of what's updated is a fair bit. It is much better now. Anyway, so if you want to know what this is, it is a dice roller. There are dice. I can click, drag my mouse, let go, and roll dice. It's it's a dice roller. These are all of the shapes of the dice that you have. Like you'll you'll start out with all of these, but that's just a uh, show you what kind of things, what kind of shapes of dice you can have. Um, I'll clear them all. Um, along the hot bar at the bottom of the screen you can put different kinds of dice that you want to have. Um, by default it's um, dungeon Dungeons and Dragons kind of dice. Your common tabletop dice. So there's a d20, d12, things like that. And if you want to read out the score it's right there. And the advantage with, um, you know, computer dice roll is you can just keep adding lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of dice and um, it reads out the value for you so you don't need to go through each dice and put all the numbers in your head. Um, right, so let's let's clear those. Um, but what's interesting about um, this, um, this this dice roller is um, more than just you know being able to roll conventional dice is um, there's a lot of different kinds of dice that you can have. Um, let me just talk about the setup, also how to get to the setup. Just just click setup on the hotbar here. Um, we've got two lists of uh, dice here to start with. There's the dice bag on the left, and this is kind of all the different kinds of dice that we have at our disposal, and on the right is on the hotbar. You can rearrange items on the hotbar, so if I want my d4 like further down or just deleted, we, we can do that, or we can put it back on the hotbar by clicking plus and there it is, it's over here. Um, but um, the the cool thing is, um, rather than just sticking with uh, these ones that I have made already, um, is we can just make our own. So let's click plus, uh, uh, edit it. Um, so this is uh, a d16, I mean what what kind of dice do we want? Let's say a d6. Um, so we go down d6. There's you know not um, you know like every number of dice, but there's there's everything from one to ten, and a few variations on some of them in between. There's a d12, d14, d16, d20, d24, d30, d48, and a d1. If you really want to. Uh, have a have a bad time. Um, so we can, uh, yeah. I really like this uh, shape of D six. So let's let's go with this. Um, we can change the size, the material, and uh, let's say that this is our um, this is our D six attack. We're going to use this for attacking. So we'll t have a typo right there. But, okay, this is our D six attack, and if it's going to be an attack dice, we're going to make it red, very red. Yes. Metal, metal red. Yes, yes. Metal and red. This is this is an attack. This is a dice for attacking. Um, so we can just then add this to our hotbar. Um, I'll put it back, like further along the hotbar, so that you can see it. It's not obscured by uh, my uh, webcam. Uh, there it is. D six at CAC. See, I've typoed again. Whatever. It's the D six at CAC, and it's listed under the thing. We get the the value for all of it. Let's let's clear out those D fours, and just have some five at CAC dice. <laughs> and you know, it, it's rolling out. It's it's counting our dice, and and it's working. But um. The thing is, we can go even fancier. Like on the left, on the uh, right side of the screen now, we can control um, what the different faces of the dice are. So if uh, we were deciding, no, like let, let's not have um, uh, a one attack. Like it would just, you know, there's no, there's no point in attacking a one. Let's let's have the uh, the first face the value of of uh, you know a ten. Like we can say like you know, a, a critical hit or whatever. Like once in a while, you know, one in six chance of rolling ten damage and that's, you know, super extreme. Um, and if we want to change the display for that one, we could say um, rather than, sorry, I, I should explain this first. The top row is the uh, value of the uh, 
of the uh, face, uh, the bottom row is what is displayed. And we can change the scale of the thing. So we can change it to be the same, which is the default. So whatever the value is, it copies that. Um, we can also have a string. Um, the string can be a number different to the actual value. So use this power wisely um, or at your own peril, just whatever. So we could say crit and uh, we can change the size of that if we wanted. So you roll a crit and then it will come out as value. Um, uh, let's try and try and get a crit. No, no. Actually, it won't even be. Let me, let me. There we go. A crit, and it's counting as ten, as you can see. So that's that's just how we set it up. Um, we can also have different values. We could have it as a string value, and we could just say it's crit a cow. Um. So, hopefully, just. Actually, that's the same dice as before. You need to roll a fresh one. There we go. Crit. And the attack, uh, the attack is critical. Um, and if I got, like, multiple ones, it's got a four and a critical. It's got eight and critical because the numbers get combined. Now, I'm trying to get, like, a, a second critical just so that you can see what happens when you roll it because uh, I spent ages coding this today there we go rolling a d6 you know it should really happen more often than this there we go critical times two so um, like string values get added on the end and everything else gets totaled up um, but that's not all um, we could have it so that for our critical attack rather than a string value, we could have a random number range. So it could be between 10 and 20. Um, so as you can see there, it's just randomly choosing a number between 10 and 20. Um, and this is inclusive, so it could land on a 10, it could land on a 20, or any number in between. Um, let's just clear that. And you can see it's shaking about, that face is shaking around up until the die stops moving and then it settles. Um, and if it's not the top face, it doesn't matter what it settles as, but uh, come on, let's try and get it. Let's try and get it. I should have picked a, a dice with fewer sides than a d6, shouldn't I? Oh, come on. There we go, a 20, perfect 20. Okay, so um, I think that's a... Uh, basically everything we could do. Um, I'm planning to have image displays, so you could have a folder full of um, face images. You know, you could have custom, you know, if you want your Star Wars dice or whatever, put them in. That's not there yet. Also, any dice you edit right now are not saved. Um, but, um, you know, that's it's future version. You know, this is this is a work in progress. Um, so let's just delete those things. I'll uh, also add some dice that I've made before so you can see what kind of things we get. Um, like I've got I've got your classic Rochambeau. So it's a rock, paper, scissors dice. Um, scissors. Cool. Rock. Let's see if we can beat that. Rock. OK, it's a tie. This one. Oh, we've got a winner. We've got a winner. Okay. <laughs> and you can use this for generation of other things, like I've got um, temperament and encounter type. So we encounter a friendly bird, and it's what level is this friendly bird? Level 19. Cool. Uh, what, what do we encounter now? A shy cow. <laughs> there we go. Um, an angry bird. Oh my god. Please don't, please don't sue me, whoever's got the uh, rights to Angry Birds. Uh, hostile robot. And we can, we can mix up the encounter type. It's a hostile robot that is with a human, I guess. Or a, uh, a cheerful snake robot. Okay, cool. Cool. See, suddenly generating in interesting things. Um... So yeah, it's a, it's a dice roller, but um, you are not, um, you're not really fixed to any specific way dice are, I guess. Um, 
there's all sorts of shapes of dice. Did I mention that there's a, a D1? This is the D1, everyone. <laughs> if you want to roll a D1, just be careful because it will roll for ages. Um, D48s, you know, there's, there's, there's all sorts you can do to customize your dice. You can change colors. Did I mention you can change colors? You can totally change the colors. Um, yeah, it's, there's, there's a bunch of things that you can do. This is a D2. If you've ever seen a D2 before. Um, and a, a nice variety of dice shapes that you can work with. It's uh, it's there for you. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it.